for the new people who don't know me, my name is Gitonga Mukonji. I am the member of parliament of Manyata constituency in Embu and also I'm the chairman Kenya Young Parliamentarians and your excellency today marks a milestone for this organization that I took over just a few months ago because today we are first celebrating 20 years since this organization was made. And Your Excellency, what a good way to celebrate 20 years. But by renewing our commitment to the young people through putting agendas in place under our strategic plan for years 2024 to 2029. And Your Excellency, this is one of those very unique caucuses in the National Assembly. Because Your Excellency, this is first a very much bipartisan organization that cuts across political parties. When we meet, we don't speak about political lines. We speak about the issues that are affecting our young people and also affecting our young members of parliament. Your Excellency, it is the best way we can be able to unite this country by forgetting those things that divide us, but remembering those things that bring us uh, together. Your Excellency, we have seen the journey that this organization has gotten since the inception 20 years ago. We are happy to have produced leaders and this shows the empowerment and mentorship that has happened under the umbrella of KYPA. We have the governor of Nairobi today being the former chairman of KYPA. Please clap for our governor. He set the bar to high and we are following in that footstep. Your Excellency, I'm one of the people who study your speeches seriously. And I saw one of your speeches when you were quite young and you are telling a rally somewhere that waze wamegua kisema wakona vijana. Sasa vijana ndiyo wakati ya kusema wakona waze. And I found that that quite uh, uh, appealing to the young uh, members that we have. But Your Excellency, we are here today because we want to set the bar higher. Your Excellency, we cannot be talking of young leaders without that visibility that young leaders deserve. It is obvious that many young members who are in this National Assembly and the Senate will tell you that we are normally intimidated a little bit by what we call ranking members. And Your Excellency, we normally have to come together and be able to push our agendas, especially through my good friend, the majority leader, and the minority leader. And Your Excellency, it is by that that actually we ensure that we get a voice in the National Assembly and the Senate. Your Excellency, one of the things that uh, we are looking upon is your support. And Your Excellency, you have a lot that you have done for young people. I want to first appreciate you because you have shown tremendous respect and trust to young leaders of this country. I really don't have to mention names, but from the State House to the National Assembly to even your government, we have seen you have given chance to the young people of this country. And we appreciate that. But we normally say that is not enough. We need more. We need to, you in your advisors to put an advisor of young people in your team of your advisors so that we can be speaking and pushing things of the young people of this country. Your Excellency, we also want you and we request you Whenever you are going abroad, I saw you going to the U.S., we need 
a representation of the young leaders who are here today in that delegation every time. And it is not only because of actually pushing the agenda that you have, but also learning on how these things are done. Your Excellency, many of the young members who are here actually have a lot of bills and motions that they would like to see pass in the National Assembly. And just to mention a few, Your Excellency, after interaction with these members, there is a bill they are pushing for what we are calling Digital Labour Bill, so that while you are pushing for matters to do with digital employment for our young people, it can also be humane and it can also be fair to our young people in terms of payment. We request your government, because I know whenever there is a government bill in the National Assembly and the Senate, it passes like a wind, and we would like to have that uh, being supported. Others, we have uh, the startup bill, Your Excellency, by Honorable Rene. And Honorable, uh, Your Excellency, we have amendments by Honorable Gasheri on health bill. These are bills that are pertinent to what we are doing uh, as young people and for our young people in this country. We request whenever we call upon your support uh, and your government to push for this bill, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, we get that support. We have also others like the local produce consumption bill, which actually highlights that we need to consume what we produce more. And those are bills that are going to change, even the perspective of our young, of our young people, uh, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, uh, because I don't want to speak much, first, I would like to say that uh, we are looking upon for your continuous mentorship. The conversation around uh, young leaders and their ambitions, Your Excellency, is a conversation that you have always had, and we have I've heard you mention about it a number of times. I would like you to take this organization as one of your kids, so that, Your Excellency, even the resources that you struggle to get, and sometimes, Your Excellency, tunakuamanga sana, Mimi nita kuomba utukamate ndiyo tuweze kufanya zile vitu tunafaa kufanya kwa wale watu ambao tungetaka kusaidia. Your Excellency, uh, as I conclude, I also want to appreciate the Speaker of the National Assembly and the leadership of the Houses. Without a doubt, we have always gone for counsel to these leaders. The Speaker has always held our hand. He has given us immense support. Even today, Your Excellency, I wonder why the CEO did not say that, but the National Assembly has supported this event. Please clap for our Speaker. And in conclusion, Your Excellency, uh, I would like uh, a few of a representation of these members to just say something small in very little time because we have a very strict uh, timeline given by His Excellency. I would like, if I just call your name, please, I want to call three people maximum, but I would like it to be not more than one minute. I will start with the Senate. There is a conspiracy that uh, one of our youth members is Oburu Odinga, but uh, he is not here today. But, uh, <laughs> Your Excellency, we have Honorable Medu, one of the youngest senators that uh, we have in the Senate. Please, Medu, one minute. Then we also have uh, Senator Le Maletian Hezena. One minute, one minute, kindly. One minute. Um, thank you very much, uh, Chairman, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, all the members present. Your Excellency, it is fair that I actually set record straight. It is not that I'm one of the youngest in the Senate. It is that I am the youngest. <laughs> it is fair that we set that record straight. Your Excellency, in the one minute that I've been given, want to appreciate you and your Deputy for offering and being very deliberate in mentoring those of us who have been elected young 
from the Senate, Your Excellency, and I give the apologies of the members of the Senate who are not here because uh, we were out of town with our speaker. But uh, you have been deliberate. You have given us one of the youngest majority leaders in the Republic of Kenya to ever exist, Honorable Iron Cheriot, um, who is a member and a paying member of the KYPA, and many other members who are chairmen of committees, including my own self. Your Excellency, sir, it would be catastrophic if you chose otherwise. From history, we can predict the future. In um, uh, a long time ago, when I, uh, before I was born, Jomo Kenyatta became the Secretary of Cow at the age of 31. In 1955, Moy, uh, Daniel Moy left teaching and became the, uh, member, uh, a member of the Regi Corps at the age of 31. In 1960, Moy Kibaki left Makerere University as a lecturer to come and become the Executive Officer of Khan. In 1997, Uru Kenyatta left whatever he was doing and, and came and became uh, you know, ran for, uh, member of parliament for Katundu South, uh, although he didn't win. In 1997, William Ruto left whatever he was doing, ran for office, and became member of parliament. It is these, young, uh, these five young members of parliament who are uh, being members of KYPA who went on become, uh, to become the presidents of this great republic. It is then this that we can use then to predict that the future of this republic is seated in this particular hall that you are seeing, Your Excellency. The presidents that are coming are seated just here. The ministers that are coming are seated in this particular room, Your Excellency. If then you do not matter them, if you do not get a better William Ruto, if we ever find ourselves in the kind of economy that we found in ourselves, if we didn't get a bright uh, leader like William Ruto, where would our country have gone to? So you have a responsibility, before gone and before men, to continue mentoring us. And the mentorship must be across board. It must be within uh, your party, and more importantly, even those who are not uh, members of our party. Why? Because the friends of today are not the friends of tomorrow. And neither are the enemies of today the enemies of tomorrow. It is tomorrow that I will take Babo Wino to be my running mate, and we shall form government together, and we are not members of the same party today. So, Your Excellency, even as we ask you to continue taking uh, members from other delegations, take members from ODM, go with them. Take members from WIPA, go with them. Because KYPA, tomorrow, we shall be other different people and we shall form other new alliances. Thank you very much, Asantani San, and God bless you. Magofi Yagemedu, Ezena, one minute, please. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of Kenya, Dr. Rigadi Gachagwa. Um, Your Excellency, the, the Right Honorable uh, Speaker of the National Assembly, uh, uh, all protocol observed, Asanteni. Uh, I'm so happy to be here today. I am Senator Izena Lemalitian, the youth representative in the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. And Your Excellency, I'm also the treasurer of the Kenya Young Parliamentarians. That is why I take this honor today to stand before all of you. And uh, just to assure you, I have no record of stealing anything. I have a good record being a treasurer for the most part of my life. I don't know why I'm usually chosen or elected as the treasurer, but I want to assure you that whatever resources you put in the hands of our esteemed youth network, the Kenya Young Parliamentarians Association, they will be very safe and very well utilized. Not only that, I am a very strong Pan-African, and I know that you cannot discuss about the future and prosperity of this continent without prioritizing the empowerment and right positioning of the young people. And when we say we are representing the youth as KYPA, we are representing the majority constituency not just across the continent, but globally. So, I, I, like I tend to say, when you take care of the interest of the youth, Your Excellency, you'll be taking care of the interest of the majority of your country's population. And I thank each one of you for your co committed labor. May God bless you. Natafadali mchangamuke. 
make sure you contribute to support the young people so that we, ha we are rigorously empowered and inspired to continue carrying out the good presidents that has been set by His Excellency, the, the President and the Governor of the Capital City and all the people who have come before us. Asante Nisana and God bless you. Very good. Um, I would like also to recognize uh, members from the National Assembly. I'm sorry members will not be able to speak uh, all of us, but first we have bathed Your Excellency KYPA, also uh, bathed KYMCA. Uh, Mpo, I would like uh, the young MCAs to please stand up and uh, Please let's recognize them with a warm club. Your Excellency, even uh, recently, we also bathed uh, our young members in the East Africa community. They formed their own caucus that is touching on uh, East Africa countries. And on their behalf, I would like to call Honorable Maina Karofia for half a minute. Because if I don't do that, I know you will uh, lynch for half a minute, uh, Honorable Karobia. Clap for him and say something. Yes, thank you for the half a minute. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Gashagwa. The Right Honorable Speaker, Moses Wetangula and the Governor of Nairobi, Johnson Sakaja, Members of Parliament and Senators, good evening. Mungu ni mwema. Na kila wakati. Your Excellency, receive the greetings of your friend, the Right Honorable Speaker of the East Africa Legislative Assembly. He sent me your greetings. And he really appreciates the representation that you gave the African continent during your visit to the United Speak, uh, United the African continent and the Senate Assembly fully recognizes the efforts that you put forward in your visit. Your Excellency, majority of us here, in fact all of us here, have passed through the hands of the top five leaders of our country. Myself, I'm a beneficiary of your guidance and your mentorship together with your deputy. And Your Excellency, just as the way members of Parliament and the earlier speakers have said we are very ready to be mentored. It is one thing to give people opportunities, it is another to guide them. Your Excellency, through your government, I want to say that 2.6 million young people of our Republic have benefited with 18 billion through the Youth Development Fund. Your Excellency, when I was talking with the CEO of that particular parastato, he was decrying or he was appreciating the fact that you have given them the support, you have even invited him during uh, the state agency's chief executive officers, and he really uh, gave you a proposal of how you can work together. Your Excellency, the 2.6 million youths in this republic who have benefited from that particular fund can give a testament of the bottom-up approach that your government espouses. Your Excellency, as East Africa, we are organizing a symposium on the issues of in, uh, uh, artificial intelligence, intelligence in July, and we want to appreciate you as a head of state in the summit for your continued support that we are receiving from the summit. Thank you very much, and may God bless you. Please clap for Mushmiwa Maina Karofia. Your Excellency, uh, we have a big team of young leaders here from the National Assembly and the Senate and uh, it will not be fair if I don't tell them to kindly stand and uh, humbly request them to actually just stand for identification. Uh, all the young members of Parliament, please kindly stand so that we can recognize you. because of time. And Your Excellency, just to recognize in the
leadership, we have Joseph Lelmengit, who leads a, a very uh, passionate cause of climate change. Please clap for him. We have Honorable Basil, that is our vice chair. Uh, please clap for him. We have Honorable uh, Esi Okinuri, Honorable Rene Mayaka. Is, he around? is she around? Please clap for her. We have Honorable Njeri Maina. Please clap for her. We have a big team that help us uh, continue running this 